Welcome back to character modeling. We're going to work on the character's collar in this lesson using the existing curve. Let's go ahead and get started with that. In the previous lesson, we rotated the seam right here to the front. That's the end sweep. And what we need to do right now is go ahead and select the isoparm and click on that line. And under Edit NURBS, we're going to detach surfaces. And what that will allow us to do is open this area up here. I can see it's separating now. So we can start making the collar. Just undo those, set them back in the center there. If you ever find that uh, you're working with NURBS and suddenly it stops functioning, you can't get it to uh, move or translate in any way when you're in component mode like this, quite often what you need to do is uh, delete by type history. You want to make sure you do that in the object mode. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a bug in Maya. Uh, I've noticed it since 2012. If you don't kind of keep up with deleting the history on your object, if you try to uh, work with the components on a NURBS, it'll just kind of freeze up on you. So that pretty much will take care of that problem if you have that. Okay, so uh, with this detached the surface, I'm going to go ahead and just open these up slightly. Let's do it from our front view so we can kind of space them out evenly. Let's come in here and grab them. Uh, make sure that they're on center here. And just grab each of these and push them out to the side. Okay, back to object mode here. And I'm going to come back to my perspective view. We're going to duplicate this curve running around the top here for our collar. So I'm going to select the isoparm on that. And under Edit NURBS, uh, excuse me, under Edit Curves, we're going to duplicate surface curves. And let's go ahead and center the pivot on that. And we can pull that up now. So we've got an exact duplicate of our collar. Pull it out a little bit. Okay, and we're going to make a couple of these because uh, the collar needs to kind of come up and fold over the top. And we may come in here and edit some of these or even rotate them a little bit like that since the back end sticks out a little bit more than the front. And let's go ahead and control D. We're going to duplicate that surface, that curve, to create another one. So I'm sort of pulling them up and out, and I think we can probably scale this down a little bit as well. There we go. I'm going to kind of push this one back a little bit more. The collar kind of comes up a little bit in the back if we uh, look on our side view here kind of follow that line right there. Here's our collar. Collar's kind of pronounced. So I'm going to duplicate this again with Control D and move that up and out. Okay, that seems to be lining up pretty well. So I'm looking at my edge right here, as well as up here. This could probably get raised up just a little bit more. From the front view, you here and see that he's kind of got this uh, buttoned up look with the tie on. So I think where we have our opening is probably fine. Uh, we might want to maybe just loosen it up a little bit on the top here. So I might just pull this open slightly and maybe do the same thing on the second curve we have. Okay. So this is the inside part and what we need to do now is kind of create a couple more curves where it will bend over the top, create that fold and then down to the front area. So control D, I'm going to duplicate that again and 
This is going to actually come down and scale it a little bit so it's going to get wider. So this is the outside of the collar. And it's going to start opening up a bit more. So from our front view, I can do that. Start pulling it open here to the front. So we've actually got two here that we need to push open. Grab both of these points and pull them open. And we come out here and take a look at what we're doing. We want to make sure that our curve is not getting too distorted. That's looking okay. Probably pull this open just a little more. Okay, let's duplicate that curve now. Control D. And we'll move that down. And this could probably be our last one. We'll try that. Uh, we might need an in-between there. But let's go ahead and see if we can make it work with this number of curves. So I'm going to scale it up. And this actually needs to come over the back part of the jacket, the coat. And you can see we need to kind of scale that up a little more. probably needs to kind of come down a little more so it's sort of snug up against the back part of the jacket and we can open up the front just a little bit more these are the points that we're creating so we can have those kind of come down a little bit of an angle like that and to scale these to just open them up a little bit more. And if you don't get them identical on either side, it's okay because we're ultimately going to uh, convert this to polygons and cut it in half. All right. So back to object mode. Okay, now that we have our curves edited the way we like them, so we're going to select them in order, grabbing the isoparm first on the collar here. Uh, I think even before we do that, let's go ahead and just uh, drag a marquee over everything here and go ahead and delete the history on it. Clean that up. Okay, go back to isoparm. We're going to select the first one here on the collar or on the jacket itself and selecting them in order. We're going to hold down the shift key, grab the second one we made, and we're going up on the inside first. There's our top one, and then coming to the outside, and then the bottom one right there. So it's important to select those in order. And under Surfaces, we're going to come under Loft. And I think the uh, default settings are fine. Go ahead and hit Loft on there. And you should see your collar. Uh, mine's got a little bit of kind of strange bending right here. I'm going to fix that. Uh, just going into the, the vertices and grabbing those and kind of moving them and scaling them out a little bit. There we go. That looks a little better. I think even perhaps these points right here. And uh, looking for the other one on this side. I think uh, that's it. Okay. We may have needed another one right here just to give us a little bit more control over that. But you can edit these either with the points right here. What I'm going to do right now is go ahead attach these. Right now they are separate pieces. So let's go ahead and attach those. Shift select that under edit nerves. We're going to attach surfaces. Just open up that. 
uh, connect them, hit attach. Uh, got a little weirdness going on there. It's uh, control Z. I think what we need to do is probably, uh, what I'm gonna do is grab the isoparm here and drag it up. Grab the isoparm, hold down the shift key and drag that down. So we've got the isoparm selected that we wanna attach. And under edit nerves, let's go ahead and attach those. Okay, so we've probably got an extra object in here that we need to get rid of. Okay, we can see the attached one under there. Uh, let's go ahead and open up our outliner. So this is our torso right now, and we've got these other ones here that we can get rid of. We can just go ahead and delete the history on all of those and break the connection. I'm going to delete the curves now. And there's our lofted surface that we can get rid of. Okay, and we've just got an empty set here. We can get rid of that. So we're down to just our torso now that's got our combined collar on the jacket. And you can further edit those either with the control vertices or you can also grab the holes and move those around. Kind of shape it a little bit differently, you can do that. All right, back to object mode here. So that completes the collar section on here. And in the next lesson, we're gonna continue working on kind of refining the overall look of the torso and jacket.